Princess Mary's children wowed with how much they'd grown as they united on a balcony at a Malienborg palace in Copenhagen for Queen Margaret's 83rd birthday. The princess's oldest daughter Isabella put on an elegant display as she lay in arg around her younger twin siblings Princess Josephine and Prince Vincent. The twins were front and center while Prince Christian stood behind his siblings beside Princess Mary and Crown Prince Frederick. The whole family were in unison as they were shades of blue, green, and white. Princess Josephine $585 bash Edme printed midi dress and Princess Isabella wore a Massimo Duddy wool suit blazer. Prince Vincent and Price Christian looked sharp in blue suits while Princess Josephine appeared comfortable and quaint in a green floral dress with blue jumper. The Crown Princess herself donned a dark green blazer and skirt while the Crown Prince wore a suit. Prince Joachim and his children were also in attendance, with the full family appearing on the balcony later in the afternoon. Australian-born Crown Princess Mary of Denmark is making a whirlwind trip back to her home country for her first official engagement in 10 years. The Danish royal family has released a statement on its official Instagram account confirming that Mary will visit Australia, Vanuatu and Fiji from April 23 to 28. The visit is to highlight the consequences of climate change in the Pacific region. The English translation of the statement reads, Princess Mary will spend time in Sydney on April 28, where she will participate in an event with Danish business representatives involved in the green transition in Australia. She will also visit a number of projects related to construction and transport. Her Royal Highness the Crown Princess will visit Vanuatu and Fiji as well as Australia with Minister for Development Cooperation and Global Climate Policy Dan Jorgensen on the 23rd to 28 April 2023. The statement began. First, Princess Mary will visit Vanuatu on April 23 and 24, going on field visits to crisis responses areas in the wake of recent cyclones and earthquakes. There she will have the opportunity to meet with players who are managing reconstruction projects in the wake of natural disasters. Next, the princess will visit Fiji from April 25 to 27. Here, the crown princess will focus, among other things on how destruction and evacuations in the wake of climate change cause increased risk of sexual and gender-based violence and how the health system is working to protect women and girls in vulnerable situations. The statement continued, Mary's final stop will be Sydney on April 28.